Well, it seems the blue tongue of the blue tongue is no accident. Researchers at the Lizard Lab at Macquarie University say the lizards use their famous tongues to avoid being eaten. Joining me now to discuss the research is Associate Professor Martin Whiting from the Macquarie University. And Professor Whiting, you found the blue is, is something to warn against predators. How did you go about finding that? Well, the first thing is that blue tongues in lizards are extremely rare and they're more than 6,000 species of lizards worldwide and only a fraction of them have, have blue tongues like this. And we figured there must be a, a reason. So we've worked a lot on colour in animals and we have a piece of equipment called an optic spectrometer that you can use to measure colour and see colours that humans can't see but other animals can see. And we suspect that they might have ultraviolet in that tongue because often blue is associated with ultraviolet and and sure enough um, there was a, a strong ultraviolet signal in their tongues so in actual fact blue tongues are really blue ultraviolet mm. tongues and we then did some behavioral trials to try and find out how that might um, work when they're trying to defend themselves from predators and and basically what we found is that it's a very last minute defense. It's something that they use to startle a potential predator and kind of overwhelm their, their sensory mm -hmm. system. It's a bit like if I walked up behind you and I clapped my hands really loudly, you would be quite startled and you would need a few moments to sort of regain your thoughts and your composure. And that's what we think happens with the, the blue tongues. Um, they do it at the last possible moment and a potential predator like a, a bird or a, a goanna um, gets this blast of UV and, and that startles them and they can make good their escape. You've uh, brought some friends along with you. I, I have indeed. <laughs> so we've got a few from the lab. We've got an adult here. It's yeah. still quite a young adult really. Is it, um, I mean, you said they've got that UV component. Is that a, a common thing in animals or is that quite unique? It's, you, you do find UV in, in birds and a fair number of, of lizards but it's, and, and a lot of insects. But it is, is that unmistakable tongue there? That is the unmistakable tongue. But, and but he is not scared right now? I mean, d does he do a different sort of uh, Absolutely. tongue out Absolutely. <laughs> if, he was, if he thought I was trying to eat him? <laughs> right now he's just curious and trying to pick up some information sure. and see what um, what's happening in his immediate surroundings but yeah. if we if he was really frightened and he thought that he was about to be attacked he would totally open his mouth yeah. and spread out the, the base of the tongue and you would see this very wide conspicuous tongue and most of the UV is at the back of the tongue right. and not the front of the tongue and the reason for that is because when they walk around your, your back garden, maybe looking for that strawberry patch, they need to try and find it kind of by smell. That's really yeah. their way of smelling things. But they don't want to be too conspicuous. So the front of the tongue doesn't have very much UV. It's mostly at the back. And that way they can, they can keep it hidden. Yeah. And the predator would have to be very close, as you said. That's right. And uh, with this study, obviously you've, you've seen that it is no accident, that it has a purpose, um, is it going to inform future studies on, on this track or in, in other animals where you suspect a similar thing? Yeah, I think absolutely. So we were able to design the study based on what, what other people have found. I brought along a, a baby just, you know, to get the cute Very factor cute. in as well. And um, yeah, there are a lot of other animals that, that might be using this particular display, which is what we call a dimatic display. So the iconic frilled lizard, the frilly yeah. from the Northern Territory and Western Australia, that's another example that we've been studying. And the frill may well be a dimatic display. So as a predator is about to grab them, mm -hmm. they do this very impressive frill display mm -hmm. to, to scare a... To sort of stun prey. them. Hey? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, you know, this sort of study helps us understand how animals interact with their environment and how they evolve and um, some of this information might later on down the track be um, useful for conservation.